So in this video, we'll be discussing how to edit your start points. Um, when we, we have a generated file, and we have an operation we generated in the last video, the sheet cam basics. Now we're going to be addressing how do you work with your start points. Okay, currently we have a start one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and it is cutting the interior cuts and then the exterior cut, and then it's moving on to the next part. Like I said in the last video, most of the time I don't modify my start points, but you do have the ability to change everything about them and control them. So to do that, you have to be in the edit start points mode. Now that's up here, this icon here, or you can also click on mode and go down to edit start points. Now in this mode, every time I hover over top of a contour, it will allow me to change that start point to that spot. Okay, so let's say I don't want the start point to start down here, I want it to start over here. I can click there and now it's moved there. The order of the start points are still the same. Okay, for example, on this one, since this is an open line, I only have two options. I can start it at this end or this end. So if I click here, it switches. Okay, so um, now one of the keys to remember in Sheet Cam is when you're trying to do stuff like this and modify start points, it all depends on which um, part, layer, or operation you currently have selected. Now this won't, in this case, we only have one part, one layer, and one operation. So it makes no difference. Um, however, if I had multiple parts in here and or multiple layers, then I would have to have the correct ones selected. As you can see, it's grayed out here in order for me to be able to work with that and modify the start points. Something to keep in mind. Okay. So, we can change the position of the start points simply by being in the start point mode and hovering over different contours. So let's say, currently SheCam has decided the order of the cuts, okay? Which order it's gonna be. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So let's say I, I don't like that order. I would say most of the time, I let SheCam pick the order. But sometimes you will need to change it. So in order to change it, if you right click with your mouse while you're in the edit start points mode, you will come up with this menu. Now, each of these different modes that we're gonna be talking about, when you right click, they pull up different options, okay? So, and it also depends on where you click. So you can see some of these options are grayed out based on where I right clicked. But the one that I want, the quick cut sequence, is always available, okay? So right now, if I click into this mode, it's gonna let me pick which one I want to be the first start point. So let's say I'm gonna change it to here. And it asks you, do you wanna disable your optimization? Click yes. And now I can select where number two is gonna be. So let's say number two is going to be right here. Uh, three will be here, and four is there, five is there. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, you have to be careful because you can pick, say, a out exterior cut to be cut before an interior cut, and that'll cause a problem. So right now, I've set that to four. So it's gonna cut the perimeter and then come back and cut this part. Now, depending on how this is supported by the slats, you very well may touch off here and have your part dip down or the part fall down through. And it can cause you a problem. So always do interior cuts before exterior cuts. So, but if you do make a mistake like that, you can simply say, oops, I made a mistake, I want the four start point to be right here. All right, so you're not limited to going from number one, two, three, four on, onward. 
say you have a, a file with 99 start points in it, you can type in 98 and change that last start point or second to last start point to where you want it to be. Okay. So when you're done doing this, all you have to do is right click again and now you'll have the option end sequence. So that is modifying the order of your start points by using, by right clicking and using the quick cut sequence option. We can also change the size and type of the different start points in multiple ways. Currently over in the operation, we have set basically global lead in, lead out for the entire layer. We have told it that this layer should be cut using an arc lead in with a length of 1.15. Okay. If I cancel, get out of here. What you'll see is SheCam will fit lead ins in where it thinks it can, and it will not fit lead ins in where it will not. I can set a lead in up here, I can set a lead in on this corner, but if I try to set a lead in in the middle, it will not fit and so she can will not allow me to fit that lead in in there okay so sometimes uh, you will have small little shapes that if you simply move the start point around it will pop in now let's take a look at these holes here as you can see there is no lead in on these holes what she cam saying is that these holes are too small for the lead-in to fit. And in fact, it gave us that warning up here. It says, could not fit lead-in on some outlines. So, what I have a choice of doing is I can either go back to the operation and shrink all the lead-ins. So if I shrink that down, now, as you can see, the lead-ins fit in. And we only have one problem up here, open pass or not offset which is fine. That's the way I want it. Okay. So, however, there will be times when you will not want to modify all the lead-ins just because one small hole is not quite fitting the lead-in you want it to. Okay. In that case, you can control the individual lead-ins. So let me move back here. I'm going to increase back to the same size we had it and now we're back to these lead-ins not fitting in. <clears throat> Let's say I want to change just this particular lead-in, but leave all the other ones the same. If I hover over this lead-in and right-click, I now have these options up here that were grayed out before. I have the Properties option. If I click on the Properties, it will show me that I'm using the lead-ins and lead-outs I set over in the operation. If I uncheck that, now I can modify just that particular start point. I can shrink it, I can change the style of it, I can make it say perpendicular, click OK, and now as you can see that lead-in has changed to perpendicular and it fits in. This one still does not fit because I haven't changed it. If I change that one, properties, I can make it smaller and we'll leave that one an arc. So as you can see, we got a perpendicular lead in on this one and an arc lead in on this one. Okay. So that allows you to modify each individual start point. Now, with CAD drawn parts, it really comes into play when you have small holes like this. All right. If we were using the original uh, start points, if I go back to the original start point size, it's going to start right on the line. And so when we cut this hole, this hole will end up being more ovalized because of the pierce defect. Um, and it will not end up being round. This one will end up being round. Okay. So that is editing your individual start points.